Hello everyone, welcome back to Live Limani. My name is Abhi Amuto and in today's video we're going to be talking about five ways to improve your confidence and work on self-love. I think I've been on a journey for the past year or so, but especially in the past few months, I've kind of picked up some very useful tips, especially from TikTok, which I find very educational. So I just thought I'd put them all together and share them in a video. So whether you hate yourself or you love yourself, you are the only person in your life that will be with you from the day you're born until the day you die. And so if you know you're your first companion, don't you want one that you know cherishes you and uplifts you just like any of the friends you surround yourself with or one that belittles and abuses you I think it's a pretty simple choice and once you realize that you are your first friend and your longest companion I think it makes sense that the more you embrace that you will stop looking for love in all the wrong places because you're gonna know that you can receive all that validation that you get from outside sources that could be potentially toxic from yourself you don't have to believe that you're perfect but even imperfect people deserve kindness all of us do so yeah before we get into the video don't forget to subscribe this to this channel um, and also turn on those bell notifications so that you don't miss an upload and like this video if you enjoy it leave a comment down below about any methods you've personally tried or if any of these have resonated with you uh, don't forget to check out my Instagram which is 14 underscore obby I post on there pretty consistent okay let's get into the tips so tip number one, use your love languages on yourself. So the five love languages are words of affirmation, acts of service, gift giving, physical touch, and what's the fifth one? Oh, and quality time. <laughs> so when it comes to love languages, if you know your own love languages and you know yourself and you know what you appreciate seeing in other people, there's no reason you can't direct that towards yourself. There are words of affirmation is a love language. Do affirmations in the mirror every morning. Tell yourself you love yourself. Celebrate your little successes and tell yourself, oh, I did a great job. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of you. Hear it out loud and say it. Another one is physical touch. So when you're like taking care of yourself, when you're putting lotion on every morning or doing your skincare routine, really taking the moment to like be in that moment with yourself. I have a link down below where I found a lot of great advice about how to give your love languages to yourself. And that has like little tidbits in case I didn't talk about a love language you particularly have. There's a lot of tips in that, so definitely go check that out. Okay, now let's get into tip number two. This was something I embraced when I was in the 11th grade, and I've been doing it, I guess, for the past 11, 12, like five years. And it's pretty game changing. I think it really changed how I viewed myself. And so what that is, is just dressing to impress, like putting yourself together every morning. And that doesn't mean like you always have to go all out with your fits or you always have to go all out with your makeup and you always have to like curl your hair and like do all this crazy stuff. But it just means like put yourself together in the morning and like make yourself feel presentable. Know that you're going from how you wo like woke up to something you consider like a better version of yourself, whether that's just splashing water in your face or taking a shower, that doesn't have to be like super cosmetic. What I noticed in myself is that when I would put myself together every day, it's like, I know I'm putting my best foot forward. I feel confident, I feel ready to seize the day. And it's like, how can I hate on myself when I know that I'm looking like this good? It's like hard to do it. Like beautiful people, like we don't deserve self-hate. We just can't do it. Okay, let's get into tip number three. So for this tip, I think people like to focus a lot on talents and work experience and internships and a lot of like outside measures to see if they're successful money or do i have the right car do i have the right house i think it's really important to focus on like internal qualities and attributes that make you a better person so instead of seeing like oh am i the best at this am i the best at that are you the most empathetic person you know? Are you compassionate? Are you kind? Do people like to be around you? Can you make people laugh? And focus on those attributes that would shape your day-to-day -day experience with and interactions with other people and use that to say, okay, this I'm a, I know I'm a good person because I can do these things. Instead of measuring everything on things that have like very specific parameters or talents and stuff that you have to be born with or like I mean, it's important to like work hard at the things you like and be passionate and work hard in life in general and aim, aim for goals. But I think don't measure everything about your self-worth based off of goals that other people's input controls. They're a little bit less tangible, but I think they're a lot more meaningful. Okay. Tip number four, be aware of your self-talk. Talk to yourself how you would a friend. I struggled with depression for about two full years before I like got the help I needed and started to stabilize. And you talk down on yourself so much like even the little things you say like they mean something and i actually saw this great tip like on instagram or something this person was saying how whenever they have those negative thoughts like they do something stupid and they want to be like i'm the dumbest person in the world like i'm so like bad at this like i can't do anything right 
instead of saying that they'll say the opposite like ex they'd exaggerate in the other extreme so they'd be like they trip and they'd be like i'm the most graceful gazelle on earth so instead of saying extremes in the negative way which even if you think you're kidding or it's not that serious you will internalize eventually especially if you continue to do it flip those extremes into a positive way so you know that you're exaggerating but your like subconscious is still listening to that and internalizing that and i think that's really powerful this also is a tip related to self-talk so i'm grouping these together i also got this off tiktok guys literally the way i so use social media is so tailored like i could do a whole video on making social media work for you because i feel like more often than not it's a very positive place for me and i don't think a lot of people would like have that experience online but that's a whole other thing but basically i got this off tiktok whenever you have like a negative thought just say out loud like i gift it to the universe or i give it to the universe and i think someone commented that it's a form of therapy actually where you're having a bad thought you're thinking about something that's going to get you down you're thinking about a past or get you're worrying about something in the future and these thoughts aren't productive like they're not helping you resolve the issue there or they're not helping you work towards like planning for the future so you're not worried about something that could happen they're just negative pause yourself and say out loud like i gift it to the universe i give it to the universe like i'm i'm releasing it the act of literally saying out loud like no this thought is not for me i'm releasing it it's not my problem like it's the universe's problem and you can do this to like any higher power i think universe is good because it's fairly generic saying it out loud is such a powerful thing i've been doing it like the past two or three weeks and it's honestly been really game changing my thoughts do not drift into a bad thing. So definitely recommend doing that if you're struggling, like controlling your negative thoughts. And finally, this is a tip that I think kind of goes into the words of affirmation tidbit in the first tip, but anyone can do it and I think everyone should do it. And it's almost using like law of attraction to speak to yourself and internalize better things for yourself and kind of speak things into existence. Just make a list of affirmations. So you can either make these yourself by like making a list of things you're insecure about, things you feel bad about, things you regularly say about yourself that are negative and probably untrue, but you just don't realize it and flip everything on that list. Or you can get these online. I didn't really feel like putting together a whole list. I was like, let me just see what's online. And I put together this huge, literally like over a hundred affirmations list, which I actually cut down because some of them are repetitive. And I would just say that list to myself every single morning. Ideally, you can say it to yourself like three times a day for about five minutes. So basically, the concept behind that is that you just want your body's going to want to bridge that gap between what you're saying and what's actually true. And so in your day to day life, you're going to start putting those pieces together to make it true. And I've noticed in the time I've been doing this <clears throat> during the day, like the words that I've been saying every morning will kind of come to me when there's like a moment to act that way. Let me look at some examples. I keep telling myself in all these affirmations I want to be positive and so during the day like a lot of my negative thoughts do not linger nearly as long as they used to um so yeah okay guys so that is the entire video I hope you found this helpful I hope I said something that you could put into your daily routine if any of these resonated with you please leave a comment down below I'd love to hear about it if you have any ideas about ways to improve your self-confidence things you've tried in the past or just general mindsets and attitudes you might have please leave them in the comments down below in case anyone wants to check those out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.